Now for the official National Weather Service forecast for the Omaha and Council Bluffs area. Rest of today, rain. Areas of fog. Highs in the upper 30s. East winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain near 100%. Tonight, areas of fog until midnight. Rain, possibly mixed with sleet until midnight, then rain and snow, possibly mixed with sleet after midnight. Little or no snow and sleet accumulation. Lows in the lower 30s. Northeast winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of precipitation 90%. Friday, cloudy. Rain and snow likely in the morning, then a chance of snow, possibly mixed with rain in the afternoon. Little or no snow accumulation. Highs in the mid-30s. North winds 10 to 15 miles an hour. Chance of precipitation 70%. Friday night, colder. Cloudy with a 50% chance of snow. Lows around 19. North winds 10 to 20 miles an hour. Saturday, colder, cloudy. A slight chance of snow in the morning, then isolated flurries in the afternoon. Highs around 20. Northwest winds 15 to 20 miles an hour with gusts to around 30 miles an hour. Chance of snow 20%. Saturday night, colder. Partly cloudy. Lows around 2. Sunday and Sunday night, mostly clear. Highs around 12. Lows 2 to 8. Monday, not as cold. Partly sunny. Highs in the mid-20s. Monday night through Tuesday night, partly cloudy. Lows around 12. Highs in the mid-20s. Wednesday, partly sunny. Highs in the upper 20s. At 2 p.m. in Omaha, light rain and fog were reported. The temperature was 35 degrees, the dew point 34, and the relative humidity 96%. The wind was north at 6 miles an hour, producing a wind chill of 30. The pressure was 29.80 inches and falling. Across eastern Nebraska and southwest Iowa, fog was reported with a temperature of 33 at Fremont and 34 at Tekema. At Columbus, it was cloudy with a temperature of 34. At Lincoln, rain and fog were reported with a temperature of 34. At Offutt Air Force Base, rain and fog were reported with a temperature of 34. Here are some observations from across the region. At Kansas City, rain was falling with a temperature of 42. Fog was reported with a temperature of 33 at Grand Island, 35 at Norfolk, 34 at Sioux Falls, 36 at Sioux City, and 21 at Valentine. At Northland, it was cloudy with a temperature of 35. At Des Moines, rain and fog were reported with a temperature of 36. At Concordia, Kansas, rain and fog were reported with a temperature of 37. At Denver, snow and fog were reported with a temperature of 34. Once again, at 2 p.m. in Omaha it was 35 degrees with light rain and fog. This hazardous weather outlook is for portions of southwest Iowa, east central Nebraska, northeast Nebraska and southeast Nebraska. For today and tonight areas of fog are expected this morning and the fog could be locally dense. Mainly drizzle or light rain is expected today, but a wintry mix is possible. As colder air moves in tonight, that wintry mix will spread from northwest to southeast over the area. A dense fog advisory remains in effect for parts of the area this morning. Turn your lights on to assist with driving. And now the extended outlook for the period Friday through Wednesday, a mix of rain, snow and sleet is possible Friday, with that changing to mainly light snow for Friday night and Saturday morning. Some light snow accumulations are possible. Much colder air will move into the area for the weekend with gusty winds. Some wind chills will drop below zero, with the coldest values expected to be Saturday night and Sunday morning. Spotter information statement. Spotter activation will not be needed today or tonight. A 
new voice is coming to NOAA Weather Radio. For the first time in over 15 years, upgrades are planned for the system which produces the broadcast programs for NOAA Weather Radio. A new computer program will be used to generate audio recordings of the forecasts, observations, watches and warnings which are routinely heard over the air. The actual broadcast programming will remain unchanged, but listeners may notice that messages are being read in a different voice. The National Weather Service Office in Omaha is part of a small group of offices nationwide participating in an operational test and evaluation of the new voice system. As part of this test, the transition to the new voice will occur on this transmitter on January 7, 2016. Meteorologists at the Omaha office will closely monitor the quality of the new voice. If significant problems are discovered, the office will switch back to the original system until the problems can be fixed. Once again, no change is being made to the kinds of programming that will be heard on NOAA weather radio transmitters. Watches and warnings will continue to cause receivers to alert as before. After the new voice deploys on January 7th, if you have comments regarding the quality of the voice, feel free to contact Brian Smith at 402-359-5166 or email our office at w-oax.webmaster at noah.gov. This is NOAA All Hazards Radio Station KIH-61 in Omaha, Nebraska. The current time is 2.56 p.m. Central Standard Time. An area of low pressure developing across the Oklahoma and Texas Panhandle region will move northeast toward Kansas City by daybreak Friday. Showers will be possible across portions of Kansas and Missouri. Further north across our area, rain can be expected this afternoon. Across central portions of Nebraska, snow will be possible with some accumulations expected through early Friday. Tonight as the low pressure moves northeast, Snow will continue in a band from northern Kansas through central Nebraska into northeast Nebraska and northwest Iowa. Rain will continue across the remainder of the region. High temperatures this afternoon will range from the lower to mid 30s, with upper 30s to lower 40s across eastern Kansas and Missouri. Low temperatures tonight will be in the 20s and 30s. Significantly colder weather is on tap for this weekend. Now for the official National Weather Service forecast for the Omaha and Council Bluffs area.